The area of a rectangle is the product of its base and its altitude. A triangle has an area half that of a rectangle with the same base and altitude. Any plane figure bounded by polygonal lines can be divided into triangular pieces, which makes its area the sum of the areas of all the pieces. From x equals zero to x equals t. Archimedes showed by an ingenious geometric argument that this area is equal to one third t cubed. Once Johannes Kepler computed the areas and volumes of 92 new curved shapes. Rectangular coordinate system, a line of slope m, can be described by the simple algebraic equation y equals m times x, and an algebraic equation for a circle comes directly from the Pythagorean theorem for right triangles. Leibniz incorporated the idea of calculating area by imagining a picket fence of little rectangles. Imagine them diminishing in size and add their areas. Eventually, their sum approaches a limit. This is the process of integration. Leibniz function of t, try to find its derivative, dA dt. If the area from 0 to t is a of t, then the area from 0 to t plus delta t is a of t plus delta t. The area delta a is the same as the area of a rectangle of base delta t and height x squared for some x. As delta t shrinks to zero, x squared becomes t squared. In other words, the derivative of the area function is t squared. Trying various functions to see which one has t squared as its derivative, one third t cubed eventually comes to mind. That works. And so does one third t cubed plus a constant, because the derivative of a constant is zero. Since the area is zero, when t is zero, the constant is also zero. Integral of x squared from zero to t is one third t cubed. Start with a function and integrate to get its area function. Then take the derivative of the area function. The result is the original function 